Hello everyone, Scott J. Way from Crucible Custom Props, Norfolk's Lab and all the forms here. So today I have a little bit of a different uh, build. Well, not, not really anything much different, but you've seen these before, but I have a Field Marshal uh, Mandalorian Blaster, the all aluminum kit, so this one doesn't have any of the steel parts on it. And the Solos Hold Ahsokas. Now this is the first set of Ahsokas I've done, but they're not effects. These are static. So let's go over the Mando first and then we'll talk about those. So pretty much this is pretty straightforward. The Mandalorian Blaster is uh, all done up. It's the aluminum kit. Um, still, still, sorry, I bumped the camera. Still an amazing uh, prop replica. Really cool. Hard to kind of see the weathering in the sliding, um, but in person you can see it pretty well. It's dusted and lightly weathered here to look as screen accurate as I can get it. But uh, really cool. I did put the proof marks, crown over use, that like are on original Bergman and a 1977 uh, serial number stamp as well. So, and I also, one thing I did, did on the last one as well is I knurled this hammer because the original one is very smooth. The one that comes as the kit is very smooth and it's very hard to get a grip on. So, put some knurls on it. Let me see if I can get that up close. And uh, now it's very easy to grip for your thumb. So anyway, that is the Mandalorian Blaster. Very, very cool. Now next is the Solos Hold Ahsokas. Now I, I worked with uh, Aaron on these a while, many I guess many years ago now. I uh, gave him dimensions of my EFX as a base, a guide, and uh, then he went and did his own thing. Um, made it FX ready. So these are FX ready in theory, but uh, the the person who wanted these done wanted them as static. So let's take a look at these. So, and he, the one thing he wanted to, was to add weight to them so they didn't feel uh, light and hollow. And he wanted them weathered. So they are lightly weathered as you can see. Right there. So the other thing is, so I added some some weight. So at first I was thinking about doing some brass, but brass is really hard to get and quite expensive right now. So I, instead I did some 12 L 14 steel inserts, which add a little, about as much weight as brass. And I machined the insert to be snug fit and also just to kind of an embellishment. So, and I, I blued it as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of different, you know, if you ever get curious, I'm going to open them up and just take a look. Then, there's a uh, cool steel insert in there. So I just thought it was a, a neat little something to add here. And this is the one with the copper buttons. So here's the insert on the smaller one, which has a double diameter because the, the pommel is uh, smaller. But there's the insert there for this one. Pretty straightforward, so no, uh, but that's I guess what a chassis would look like, the size and stuff, so anyway, it still has the buttons, otherwise they would have just been holes, but they don't do anything, and I did paint them black so they didn't wouldn't stand out as well, but uh, that's the Ahsoka. The only thing that would probably add a little bit to this was getting one of those accurate run blade plugs to go in the in the uh, emitters. Uh, I think you can get those on the Rebel Armory. I'm not sure where exactly to get those. Um, but I heard Aaron talk about them on the assembly video. So anyway, that's, that's the collection for this day going out to the, the owner here in a little bit. So thanks for watching.